flows thinking about or being aware of through consciousness you can achieve witnessing and through witnessing you can achieve awareness and through awareness you can achieve no achievement through awareness you can achieve all that is already achieved after awareness there is nothing awareness is the ultimate end the ultimate has happened nowhere to go nothing to do you are that you already are that thou art let me explain this with four major statements of sanatan text there are four major or great statements these represents the seeker's inner state of mind as he traverses along the inward journey these are in order of their happening the first is tat masi the master explains his disciple you are that you are means a seed is a flower already but it has the process of its blossoming has not begun that thou art you are that you are tat tom asi tat means that tom you asi is wo you are already that you are seeking to achieve or be if the seed is not flower the flower will not blossom out of it since you are unconscious as a result your cognition is veiled and you cannot realize this this comes from chandogya upanishad of samved second through sufficient austerity or sadhana the disciple now realizes the next state aham brahmasmi i am ever expanding consciousness a revolution happens this comes from brahadaranya upanishad of yajurveda the next level comes when he starts seeing the same consciousness same energy in everything around this is prajnam brahm an all pervading consciousness or oneness this comes from atri upanishad of rigveda the last is this is followed by the next level when he is established in saying that yes it is not only me everything around is brahman or consciousness or energy this is i am atma brahma consciousness is my being this is the state of dissolution in existence cosmic oneness this is the state of enlightenment it comes from mandukya upanishad of atharva veda there is a story of shwet ketu in there is a story of shwet ketu who is an ardent seeker who and who appears in three principal upanishads namely bhadranya upanishad chandogya upanishad and kausiti kausitaki this name shwetketu is used for a seeker who is sincere in his inner search shwetketu received the knowledge and shrined in these great statements which appears in 16th chapter of the 
छांदोग्य उपनिषद दो देर आर ग्रेट स्टेटमेंट्स फ्रॉम ईच ऑफ द फोर वेदर्स एंड दीज आर नोन एज ग्रेट स्टेटमेंट्स दैट कंटेन इटर्नल ट्रूथ देर आर अदर स्टेटमेंट्स एज वेल विच आर ऑल्सो इक्वली इम्पॉर्टेंट एकम एदम ब्रह्म means brahma a consciousness is one without a second everything evolves from the supreme brahma or consciousness the seat is one the supreme seat this comes from chandogya upanishad next comes in soham i am that this comes ishopanishad soham this is used as a mantra it uses three parts first a person is saddened disturbed by his inner state so he says udasoham i am sad udasoham i am sad i am disturbed i am i lack harmony then the last comes so hum i am that i am that this comes from ishopanishad the third is sarvam kalvidam brahma all of this is brahman ever expanding consciousness this also comes from chandogya upanishad these are also great statements but four are considered as a major and these are secondary statements sarv sarvam vi, kalvidam brahma all of this is ever expanding consciousness the last is etad vai tat this verily is that this verily is that i see you you are that there is a power within that knows beyond our knowings we are not aliens as a strangers join we are bound to each other by a causeless force the ever expanding consciousness we each one of us carry the same spark each flower the seed the flower seed carries that potentiality to grow and blossom into flower but chrysanthemum will blossom as chrysanthemum marigold will blossom as marigold buddha the seed of awakening in buddha verily is that seed that potentiality that potentiality to flower but buddha will not flower as mahavir he will flower as buddha mahavir will flower as mahavir you will flower as you because you are a unique seed and flowering is your potentiality flowering is the potentiality of each and every one of you it all depends when does your process begins and how astute you are in the process of your uh, blossoming how much effort you put into on a day to day basis because the seed the process of the blossoming of the seed is a continuous process the moment it is planted in the soil the moment your seed you are conceived your process begins but in a mysterious way through different stages of which at times you are not aware and as such as you know the process begins after you are born but even at that stage you are not 
aware. Because the cognition is not yet developed in you, as the age advances, you go into the process, you begin to understand, consciously you start the process, but there remains a danger. The danger is can happen and happens to most of us because of egocentric identities and ego sins. Because of that, your process does not get an impetus. You are lost in your own ego sin because of your own egocentric identities into ego trip. When something is mentioned to you, you react, you reject that because as such, if the seed rejects what the gardener tries to do to it in the form of mulching of the soil, in the form of providing the fertilizer and all that. But if the seed this denies to absorb the fertilizer that is given to it, the process will be hampered. And this is what happens the most of the people, their process either does not start or gets impeded along the way. And this happens because of egocentric identities. One who is initiated into sannyas, sannyas means the process of the inward journey has begun now. That is the, you enter into the process means just as you enter the school, the primary school, secondary school, this is known as beginning of the education. When inward journey we talk about, we call that process through which the inward journey begins is known as sannyas. Though there are One who is initiated into sannyas in according to Advaita Vedanta is taught four principal statements as four statements to attain to this highest state in which the individual self dissolves inseparably in absolute consciousness or Brahm. According to Advait tradition, the four Upanishadic statements indicate the real identity of the individual, the individual soul as truth, existence and Brahman the consciousness. According to Vedant tradition, the subject matter and the essence of all Upanishad remains the same because each time each Upanishad, the sage is speaking to a different set of students and because of their level of understanding the difference appears to be. In Sanskrit uses these, the term great statements came to be known as discourse or statements and specifically discourse on the philosophy of lofty topics relating to different aspects. Thus, the awareness that comes this way is the end of spiritual progress. Unawareness is the beginning. Enough for now.